Celtic are the champions of Scotland once again. I've got Darren and Kenny with me to celebrate it, to go over the 5-0 victory that we just watched here at Rugby Park. Darren, what a way to win it. Um, we won it in style. I thought we played tremendously tonight. Um, one of our best performances of the season. What did you make of that in there? Well, back in August, us three were stood in this exact same spot after getting put out of cup, um, saying how we're not worried, but we're a wee bit anxious as to the... the the slip in quality mm. as to last season and it's not been as good as last season but it's been stressful but my god it's a good feeling to finally get there in the end and what a way to do it 5-0 I mean we could talk about that first half until it's until it's midnight <laughs> but I'm sure we, we only want to keep this video short till about 10 minutes but where to begin I mean the, just thank you by the way for getting me a ticket at la, the late, I really appreciate <laughs> it problem, but um start of the game the tempo was there the, the intensity was there I noticed that even like in the every every ball that was getting played was, was forward the off the ball runs from even Alistair Johnson Taylor and Maeda and, and Forrest and the midfield runs for Tati and O'Reilly it, it was all there mm. and then he always just wanted an early goal and a fixture like us to, to take the nerves away and, and they did that Adam Ida was was fantastic today obviously he scored his goal was a tap in but that's, that's he's just a it sounds basic but he's a striker mm. that's what it is he's a striker mm. big tall he holds the ball up well he makes those runs and he puts himself in the right place and that gets us off to the best start and then we just kept going we kept going a lot of the goals were so similar coming for those those first those, three goals those identical. first three goals just getting in behind the wide areas and then the cut back almost reminiscent to a lot of the goals that we scored mm. last season getting to the byline getting in behind and it could have been five or six by half time but luckily we, we got it to three uh, the second goal that was Maeda won it another yeah. just another bit of tap in but the work off, off the ball and, and the build up was enough to make it a brilliant goal and then we were, we were celebrating it 2-0 we knew it was done by by 2-0 uh, and they just kept going 3-0 4-0 5-0 just oh, what a performance fitting fitting way to, to win a trophy, win a title Aye Kenny it's almost symbolic isn't it that this was the post split fixture we were most worried about but we've came here and won it in style and it's we, we talk so often about the, the quality of football in these pitches it's dry tonight but none of the problems. I thought we were absolutely brilliant. And as Darren says, with those first three goals, those balls uh, and in the inside of the, the fullback, the runs to the byline, the, the low cutbacks, um, I thought we played brilliant football all night and, and credit to the team because that is that is a way to win it. Yeah, I think, I think that's the most complete performance of the whole season. I mean, he made, Rogers made a bit of a bold decision dropping Kyogo, going into the game. But I, I think that was superb in that first, certainly that first half. One of the hardest starts in football was for a striker is to take the ball with your back to go and turn the centre half. He was doing that all the time. But then with real quality on the end of it, he's not just a batter now, Adam mm. He's got quality in his feet and he was involved in all three of those goals. What's so rewarding is we've really struggled out wide all season. Now we're flying out wide. Three of those goals were tap-ins, but they're not tap-ins because they were simple goals. They were tap-ins because they were brilliantly crafted football goals, primarily because of the wingers. And the wingers getting a bit of chemistry finally with the fullbacks, Alistair Johnson coming forward. And then when you've got the three, Hatati, O'Reilly, McGregor, just interplaying and interchanging position in the middle, they, 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 Kamala looked really baffled at times as to how to handle it. So it's such a satisfying end to the season. And we've got one big game left, but we could scarcely begin in better form. So it's a real, you're exiting the, the, the season in a real up curve with real excitement for next season. A real, real standout performance tonight, Darren. Again, I thought Matt O'Reilly was absolutely tremendous. Um, we actually missed the fifth goal because we were doing the huddle at the time. We just turned around and the ball was in the net. Um, but two goals on the night, he gets the assist for the first one as well. And you can just tell he's, he's head and shoulders above everybody in the pitch. He's just he's brimming with confidence now. Obviously, at the start of the season, it was a standout. And then there was a, a spell, kind of middle to like January, February time where he kind of dipped a wee bit and then it took him out of contention for the, the player of the year because he was everybody's favourite at the start of the season. Then obviously guys like Lauren Shank Shankland and etc. got got the nod. But the last month, I would say, he's just been an absolute standout. Mm. You think to that game at, at Ibrox where not only just did they score a penalty, it was fantastic. Uh, the game there just last week at Celtic Park and then t today, he's just he's brimming with confidence. And, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but... I, I, I just don't think we'll, we'll be able to, to, to keep him. I think the, the price tag will just be too much too much for the board. But um, if we get good money for him and we actually invest it this time instead of spending spending pennies, I'm sure we'll be fine. But he's just been the best player this season for us, like head and shoulders. You can obviously give credit to Joe Hart who, who and Carter Vickers, etc. But he's missed a lot of the season. Yeah. Kyogo, who has still been good but wasn't as good as last season. But Matt O'Reilly, just... When you, 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 we lost um, Aaron Moy, obviously retiring... 
and then there was that um, that slot in the midfield that needed filled. Tatati spent a lot of the season out injured, and it was just it was McGregor and um, O'Reilly in that midfield. It was chopping and changing. You had Home, you had Bernardo. Bernardo. It was changing. It felt like we were missing that midfielder. But I felt obviously I actually feel like Hatati coming back into the team makes O'Reilly better. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe it just gives him a bit more freedom in the middle yeah. of the pitch. Hatati's got great vision with his passing, so O'Reilly almost has that confidence to put himself in those positions where he knows Hatati can give him a ball. So, yeah, I, I can't praise him high enough, mate, honestly. Yeah. What a player, what a player. Kenny, um, the scene's just absolutely brilliant to be in there to see the joy it brings to so many people, um, the celebrations with the players and the staff after the game. We need to talk about the manager. Um, we've toiled at times this season. I think everybody's been critical with, with many performances throughout, but um, amidst it all, he was always calm and, and credit to him, he's delivered. It's been a real roller coaster of a season. I mean, if you think about the 12 titles that we've won, that's been the most competitive. The game, the, the, the league was completely in the balance with three games to go, and all the other 12 titles, even, even in Angie's first win, title win, which was really important for the club, it wasn't as competitive as that. And that's for me brings why that's one of the most satisfying wins we've had in that whole course of victories. And Rogers has been at the heart of that. It's been tough at times. He was served a really bad hand with the recruitment. He's had to basically see out the entire season with, with no news, any signings of note that have contributed to his plan. The fans have had up. It's been a bit of a strange psychology for a lot of fans because people resented Brendan Rodgers when he first came in. When games don't go so well, that, that sort of compounds. I remember when we lost against Hearts, he was sort of... He, he looked up the first time I looked at him and I thought, you look a little bit lost here, Brendan. Hmm. But ultimately he wasn't. He had that inner belief that when push came to shove, when... When the chips were really down, he could galvanise that squad and get us to a position whereby we're going to win the title. There were moments where I didn't think it would happen, mm. but he always believed. And it's not been a swashbuckling, invincible season style, Brendan Rodgers football, but it's had every bit as much of the psychology behind it. And I think next season, with the fans fully behind him, with some more funds, leaving the season on an upward trajectory in terms of form, it's an exciting time for the club, but that, that is a sweet title victory tonight. It's right up there with any of the last 12. Mm. Aye, absolutely, Darren. Winning titles isn't easy. Um, it takes a lot in terms of your mentality, and I think that's where the, the manager and the players have really stood up when it's came to the crunch. Even when we were behind and it's, it's came to these big defining games at the end of the season, um, we're the team that showed that we've got it in us uh, and we've delivered. Mentality is the most important thing. You mentioned it there. There was the the moment where I think Rangers were how, how, what was the most amount of points were they five ahead at, at one, one point, point right. and there was a lot a big narrative. Brendan Rodgers actually used that word narrative. I can't remember what game it was, but um, he used the word narrative. And there's, numerous times, he yeah, used it. numerous yeah. times. And I think MD, who's probably not a Celtic fan, want would want to see Rangers win just this title just purely for a change because we have been so dominant and maybe other teams are sick of that. It's, I think one he's just said that he went quietly about his business. It's it's that it's just simple as that. A lot of it always obviously comes down to to the four games against Rangers, winning three and, and only drawing one, a ten point swing. If you take those ten points away, like Rangers are top. There's obviously been bad moments where because if you take those four games away against Rangers, they are top. Mm. But I, I think I said that um, last week. You're going to have moments. It can't just be as easy as it has been for a vast majority of the last 12, it's, it is going to be tough and like Kenny says, this probably is one of the most bittersweet because at some, one point in uh, March or start of April, the chips were down, everyone had written us off but they just went quietly about their business and we've got the last laugh. Aye, absolutely. Brendan Rodgers was keen to say that this team would write their own story and, and Kenny, they have written their own story. Um, I think a word for the support um, being there week in and week out this season you see that the back in the team have got through thick and thin, and I know that external people look at Celtic and think, well, it's easy because you always win titles, but um, they're there in huge numbers every single week. Um, we celebrated Tommy Burns before the game as well, but um, I think the sport have been brilliant and the scenes in there to see what it brings to people, not just here, but around the world as well. It's amazing. That, that's what makes the club special. OK, we're sitting here outside a small ground in a, a small town in Scotland and if you go to the English Premier League you'll see incredible stadiums, 60, 70,000 fans, 100 million pound players. They don't get anywhere near what we've just experienced in there in terms of just raw passion and connectivity with the side. At times Celtic Park can be, especially when we, it was not long ago we banned the Green Brigade, mm -hmm. that actually coincided with a downturn in our form which yeah. is an illustration of how much the team rely on the support. At times at Celtic Park, it can be, you know, out with the Green Brigade, it can be a bit passive. Well, the game against Hearts, everything just came back alive again in terms of the support, the home support. 
and I, I thought that was you know, it's just really important to kick us over the line. And it's, it's just, to be in there, if you feel lucky coming here, and it's not that, you know, you can't take league titles for granted and you really feel part of it. Mm. There's such a connection between the fans, Rogers, and the team now, and that's that's priceless. Aye, brilliant. Um, Darren, lots to build on, lots to improve. As Kenny says, we've got one big big game left, Trophy Day on, on Saturday, obviously against St Murray, which will be a brilliant celebration, <coughs> the Cup Final at Hamden. Um, but lots of progression for this team to make and all the resources to go and do it in the summer. Well, the pressure's off on Saturday. We can obviously just go out there and have a bit of fun. Hopefully Santa's the one that passes the trophy on to <laughs> McGregor. That would be a bit bit sweet <laughs> because we were booing him back at Christmas. But um, We've came a long uh, way. Uh, aye, the, the, men the mentality, not the mentality, just the... the um, I'll use the word mentality is just so good in the squad right now obviously they'll be celebrating that in the dressing room right now the, the morale will be sky high and then we have to the big game against um, Rangers on Saturday where you know I don't like saying stuff like they were clear favourites because that can you know backfire sometimes but you've got to go in there with a lot of, of confidence now mm. win that and then you've, you, can, you can successfully say at the end of the season that it's a cup double obviously it's a downgrade from last season from a treble mm. but you know, you can't win trebles every year when we can win them most years, but not every year. But still, if we if we win next, uh, not next week, in two weeks, I would call that a very successful season. Mm. And then, so, sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you there. Yeah. Obviously, we've, I don't know the, the finances to the to the exact digit, but Celtic released their finances a few months ago and it was a lot in the bank. Mm. We've won the title there, we're getting into the Champions League. It's actually more than last season. Yeah. So I, I don't want, we don't want to talk about next season already because mm. we're still not finished this season yet. But I think there's scope to really improve the squad there. Joe Hart is obviously playing his last game. We need to look at a goalkeeper. I heard rumours that Angus Gunn mm. might be coming. I, you know, I wouldn't say no to that. But you know, when you've got the millions to spend now, you can maybe just maybe just push the boat a little bit, try and yeah. get a bigger name. We've only got one striker now, and in, in Kyogo, don't know whether Adam Eder's going to stay or not. We'll wait till the summer. But there's scope to get another striker in there. Why not splash the cash on a big striker? I think we need a couple of wingers as well. Yeah. So we'll see. Aye, those are discussions for another day, Kenny. To round us off, um, a word for the players and just just closes out on how you think this season's going. I mean, one of, one of the great outcomes of this season is the contribution of our veteran players. So when when Joe Hart announced his retirement, it was at a time where we had a bit of a malaise. Mm. Jurgen Klopp announced his retirement and they just imploded. But I think that's galvanised us a bit here. I do think the fans, the, sorry, the dressing room has a big not necessarily a reliance but there's a big part of the chemistry is through Joe Hart yeah. if they're looking him in the eye and knowing this is his final season that's, that's I think that's helped him get over the line the resurgence of James Forrest from, from nowhere a forgotten man one of our most decorated players he's scored in each of our last 15 seasons he's played a vital part in getting mm. us over the line we were floundering out wide yeah. until he showed up Callum McGregor coming back from injury really not looking fit but managing in the nick of time to get himself right back to his A game to secure his crucial points. So our sort of veteran players have really played a big part in, in leading us over the line. And as I say, because it was so competitive, it feels really, really rewarding. It's, it's right up there with, with a special, you know, one of the most special titles we've had in this 12, 12 run. Absolutely, there you go. Enjoy your night, enjoy the celebrations. We will see you on Saturday for St Mirren and for lifting another league trophy. Thank you.